I'm Tom Jones, and welcome to another free art lesson. I hope you'll stay with me on this because I want to show you something really exciting about how to create barbed wire by using an X-Acto knife. I'm going to first start, though, by showing you how I lifted out a little color for the fence post. You'll notice here that I have two fence posts that seem to be dark at the top, which they are, and lighter at the bottom. Well, actually, it started by using water on my brush and then painting the water on the fence post just as if it were paint and then lifting it off with a tissue and I'll show you how I do that. Then what I'll do is I'll show you how to create using an X-Acto knife how to create the barbed wire in here and I'm going to give you a little uh, treat. I'm going to show you here closely where I've actually come in and painted in some barbed wire using my script brush which is a brush that has a long hair comes to a needle point and I did my barbed wire that way. But I'll show you some additional barbed wire or how I create that by using an X-Acto knife. So stay with me. But first, let me go ahead and lift some color out just for the fence post. So where the fence post is, you may not be able to see the sketch up close, but there's actually a sketch on the paper. And I'm going to simply come in and show, show you how I lifted out that color. See how I did that? Now what I'll do is I'll come up and grab some of my color out of my palette, and I'll come in and I'll just paint the top of that fence post. Clean out my brush so it's just a damp brush now and I'll just blend that edge so that it goes from light, in this case light at the bottom and dark at the top as I did in these cases. So that's how I've created those fence posts. Now I'm going to take my X-Acto knife and I'm going to create the look of barbed wire much as I did with the barbed wire up here but up there I used a brush, here I'll use the X-Acto knife. So watch very carefully as I do this. I'm simply going to come in, I get my hand out of the way, and I'm going to take and simply come in with the X-Acto knife and just scratch right into the paper and paint. You're not going to hurt the paper and you're not going to hurt the paint. Trust me. Just go through and do the barbed wire and don't make a straight line. Make it sort of a jagged line. It's more interested to ha interesting to have this old barbed wire on a fence than brand new barbed wire in straight lines. So let's do it again so you can see. So we'll have a third strand here coming down. In this case, we won't go all the way across to this other fence post. We'll just kind of come off to the end here. This one over here will have this particular wire go all the way out to this fence post. So that's how I've created that. And in some areas, you can sort of take your X-Acto knife and just scratch it a little deeper to create a couple of little highlights on that barbed wire. That's an interesting way for you to do that. So now I've got the barbed wire up here which is actually painted darker and then down here I've actually scratched it out. Now one thing that I want to mention to you that's important. Remember if you're going to scratch out to have a lighter area such as on your barbed wire the area behind it must be very dark. In other words if I try to do this in a light area it's not going to show that well. So make sure the area behind it is dark, whether it be a tree line or a building or whatever. Let me show you one other little thing you can do. Let's take the X-Acto knife and we can do the same thing on the side of the fence post. So let's assume that maybe we have the light hitting this side of the fence post. You can come in with the X-Acto knife and do the same thing on the side of this particular fence post. You could do it with trees or whatever, but see how it creates a little highlight at the edge of that particular fence post. See how easy that is? We'll do it on a couple of them here just to show you. I'll do another one right here. I'm going to just scratch at the edge of that fence post to get it a little lighter and then all of a sudden it gives the illusion that the light is hitting that. I hope you've had fun with this particular art lesson. Thank you for joining me and check out my other free art lessons on TomJonesArtist.com and don't forget to go to Jerry'sArtorama.com. They have over 500 free art lessons available to you. I hope you've enjoyed this. Thank you very much.